Hello and welcome to this tutorial on AIML. In this tutorial we are going to cover the that tag and the random tag. So let's start off with the that tag. So the 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 the, the that tag is essentially it's called a context aware tag meaning that it will if you included that statement in a category then it will only you will only be able to use that category given that something else has been said before that category so I think the best way to help you understand this is just to show you so let's create a new category a new pattern just like we normally do and what we'll do is we want to say yeah we want to say tell me more and we want this to happen after someone says if someone says what is your name and we give them this answer my name is tutorial and we want them to tell us more we can you know we enter in tell me more then and we only want to run this category after we've said what is your name then we'll put in a that tag and in all capitals like we do with a pattern we'll type in whatever the template was for the category we want to come before this um, statement so we type in my name is tutorial and we don't put any punctuation in here so it's written in just the same way as you'd write pattern and then as normal we just put in our template tags and the response can be uh, there is not much else to say cool and let's make sure that works what is your name tell me more and there you go it says there is not much else to say if we typed in say what is AIML tell me more then it will just come up with match failed because we wrote tell me more without writing what is your name first so you might be thinking that's pretty boring it's, it's pretty useless well we can now use that to okay sorry I had to walk away for a second there um, to deal with something um, so I believe I was about to say um, how we can make use of the that tag so what we can do is we can now say we can use this pattern to give us a different response um, depending on whether we use what is AML or what is your name so we can let's copy this category here and in the that tag instead of saying my name is tutorial we'll put artificial intelligence modeling language and then we can put in a different response in the template so let's say um, you can make chatbots with it and then I'll save that and providing I haven't misspelled anything we should now be able to write in what is AIML and then tell me more brilliant you can make chatbot with it and if we wrote what is your name tell me more cool so you see how that works and how we can use that to um, generate a different response depending on the context or in other words what's been said before uh, so now we'll move on to the random tag uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this we don't need it anymore so the random tag is where you can select from no how do I put it it's oh it's in the name so within your category you will have um, several different 
basically templates and the the computer will basically pick one of those templates to run at random um, and they're not actually templates but they basically work in the same way so I will show you how that works now so let's create a new category a new pattern um, and let's just ask it to pick a number and then we create a new template but now we write our random tag inside of the template so you've got to make sure that it's definitely inside the template otherwise this will not work and then inside of the random tags we type L I and that is known as a list item and it's basically one of the options that the computer can pick when taking a, a random response. So our first random number can be 1 and then we'll go over and we'll create outside of the li tag that we just made we will create a new li tag uh, call it 2 and another one 3 and save that and that should work so let's type in to our chatbot pick a number cool pick a number let's see if we can get it to pick a different number there you go so as you can see it will pick from any of these free list items and yeah um, one more thing I want to show you before this tutorial ends um, in case you weren't already aware, within pretty much every programming language or uh, markup language, you can what, write what is known as comments, which are basically bits of code that the computer will just ignore, and they are there to help you, as the developer, um, make sense of your code if you say, leave it for a while and come back to it and you can't remember what it all does or you're handing the code over to someone else and it will just make the development process a lot quicker so I'll show you how to do those real quick so what you do is you create a triangle bracket or a um, less than sign you put an exclamation mark two dashes and then you write in whatever you want to say um, so we'll just say random number generator then two more dashes and to finish you do a arrow that's pointing to the right and you've got to remember that to do it exactly like this so the message can be whatever you want so long as it's within the two dashes and the arrow on the right and two dashes and exclamation mark and an arrow pointing left on the left and it can go over multiple lines and you do have to be careful because you can accidentally um, comment out your own code if you don't have the closing tag in the right place so let's say I drag it down here and I save that we can no longer use the pick a number uh, category so you, you do have to be careful and watch out for that but it's generally good practice to include these as much as you can within your code. Um, I might do a tutorial later on on one of the most um, common ways that people write their comments. But um, anyway, that's for another video. Uh, so that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.